Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chad's Trains and Things. Today, I figured after doing the Harry Potter, let's have some fun. Let's build another Lego train. This one actually has a motor with it, so we're on. We're going to build Lego set 60197, just passenger train. 677 pieces. So you're going to get a couple cars, a couple minifigs, a little station, which I may use somehow in the Mario area, like a little station for it all. You know, you can see it is open because I got the track out of it. The straight track, anyway. Back when I started working. Get the motor. Show you all the back. Okay. It's open. Let's go ahead and try to dump this out. One hand. Make a mess. Something. Everything. Book and bags is nice. Part of the motor. It just comes with a little controller. So you got something besides just the phone to use or iPad to control it. And so many like seven bags. There's a look at what's in the box. I'll check back with you after bag one or maybe two. We'll see what it gets me. Okay, back after bag one. You can see bag one built the little station. Well, I wouldn't call it a station, just loading area maybe. Dock. And you got one little minifig here. Zoom in so you can see him a little better. Waiting on the train to get there. Two stickers on pieces. And the signal light, which actually goes on the track. It's just got it sitting here for right now to see. I want to show you, since it's open, this actually has five books, five instruction manuals. Manual one, just it was that. Two and three are going to build the engine, run the train, which so that'll be the next time I'll check in with you is after I get two and three done. Four is going to be a passenger car, and five is going to be a passenger car. And just to show you, I know I got two stickers off it already. There's a sticker sheet that came with it all. Lots of fun. But that's what bag one got me. I'll see y'all again when I'm finished with bags two and three and got the engine okay. built. Bag right. cover. We're back with the engine part done. I'll start showing the little engineer guy for it. Goes up front. Another nice little mini. He goes. Of course, one-handed, I'm not going to be able to do it because it's wanting to roll on me. But this opens up. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. There. Opens up, and he actually... See where he goes down in there? I'm not going to even try with one hand. Show you the engine. Here's the controller for a better look, too. They give you a yellow brick phone there, so you know this will control this train. But this train will also run off the app on the phone, which is cool in itself. Give you a close-up look of the train. So there's two passenger cars still built after this, too. The power for it, if you hit this right here, get that out of the way, pop that open. The green button, that's your power, and you're syncing it all up right there. You gotta take, when batteries go down in here, so, these two pieces and these two pieces got to pop off and then that whole piece just slides out. So you can replace batteries, put batteries in. I don't have no batteries in it yet. I didn't want to put them in while I was building. But I like it. I think that's a pretty cool looking train for being a Lego train and not a custom Lego train because there's some really cool custom Lego trains out there. Anyways, I'm going to move on now to book four, which will be the first passenger train car that goes with it. Looks like another minifig. Looks like each big build gets minifigs. So there'll be four minifigs. See you shortly. Okay, we're back. Got what I'm going to guess be the cafe car built. As you can see, little stickers for the coffee. Let's start off showing it did come with a little minifig. Little female. The work in the cafe car. Nice little fig. Oh, too close. 
There you can see a little coffee cup on her. But you see, it's a neat little passenger car slash cafe car. Nice stickers on it. The lid locks in, but you can take it off so you can see down inside of it. Got kind of some food, coffee, and everything else. And she can go down in here. I'm gonna try to push her down in here one handed. There, you can kind of see her down there like she's working behind the counter here. And this was bags four and five. So all I got left is bags six and seven, which build the other passenger car, which probably be the coach, I'd have to guess. And I'll have this train done, this build done. So, set the engine over there in case you're looking at it. So I'll check back in with you when I get that done and show you that car and the whole build as it is. See you in a second. Okay, bags six and seven are done, and we have built the coach. Everything, same stickers on it. The only thing different, instead of the coffee cup, we got little lounge like seats on it. It was built identical to the last one. I like this train. Pop the lid comes off the wheels. Give you a view inside. Got two, four seats. Little divider. That's it. Nothing really inside of it. Not a whole lot to this car. And these two bags also gave us another female passenger. There's her little suitcase. She's ready to go. Fix her hair. So I must have knocked it around. Back. Another nice little Lego figure. Stick her over here. Pull this up. Just pop the on. Pop it. And I'll show you the whole train. Engine, cafe car, and coach car. And I'm sure a lot of y'all that watch my videos are gonna like this since it's like almost a real looking train instead of just the Disney train or Harry Potter's Hogwarts Express stuff. That's the first real type train that I have to go around them. And I'll have to get some batteries so I can run it. It takes six batteries in here and four batteries in here. So I need to get 10 AAA batteries to run it. And I don't have them right now. So I'll have to pick some up this weekend when I'm out and about. Anyway, let's look at my newest train. Along with the two passengers on the little station. And of course the engineer and the little cafe worker are inside the train. As always, please like and subscribe if you like this video. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.